Hello, everyone, and welcome to our second Clip Source conversation. Uh, today, I will be sitting down with Johan Wicklund, who is the CPO of Clip Source. Um, so, welcome to the show, Johan. Hi, Marie. Thank you. Yeah. Glad you are having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Um, and I have to ask the first question: Is what show are you watching right now? Uh, well, um, so many things on my watch list, but uh, currently, I'm I'm trying to. Uh, close the, the final seasons of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I, you know, people who love that show, I think I'm the last one to see it, but I, it's really good. So I haven't even I heard have that. What platform? What, pa what platform is it on? It's on HBO. It is? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm adding it to my list then because I haven't seen that one. <laughs> you should. It's great. Um, great. Okay. And then today we are going to be discussing the complexity of marketing in the entertainment industry and the importance of having the right tools in place to make it easier. Um, so just to get started, I think it would be great that we start by talking about you because you've been working alongside and with the entertainment industry for over 10 years or so. Um, so you've seen all the changes with more content platforms and the competition between all the programs and stuff now. So I thought it'd be great if maybe you could talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, actually, in fact, I, I realized uh, a few weeks ago that it's almost 25 years, but thanks for the 25. Years. Oh my gosh, I was off. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but it's uh, it's it's been a, a really interesting journey, you know, going from online TV, web TV being a new concept uh, into what we have today uh, with so many platforms uh, and so much content to choose from. Um, I, I see, uh, uh, the, of course, it's the marketing uh, perspective of, of all of it, uh, that the platforms and the content producers, they need to make sure that they have uh, the right uh, kind of uh, data and media uh, to promote uh, their content. They need to make sure that it's not just, you know, visible within their own platforms and searchable in a good way, but also externally, make sure that, uh, make sure that they, they share the content with external content discovery platforms uh, and, uh, and uh, also within their own systems. Uh, for example, if you take uh, media uh, companies that has both streaming and linear platforms, for example, where a lot of content is being used in, in both places, it's super important for uh, the consumers to be able to know where they can find things and when. Yeah. Um, uh, and also we, we see a lot of, uh, and that's, that's quite new actually, but the last years or so, we've seen a lot of new tools uh, that are interesting that uh, is built trying to help consumers to find what to see and where. Uh, and those systems needs to be fed as well with metadata and information uh, from uh, the content owners. So that's kind, kind of new, but it's a very interesting uh, new thing that we see. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one, one of the biggest issues then, would you say, is it's feeding all of this content to the different places where people can find it. That's like yeah. one problem with marketing and the entertainment industry, and especially because there's so much more content than there used to be. 10, 25 years ago. <laughs> exactly. I know you've been yeah. in it for that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like one of the issues that. Yeah, that's one of the issues. And, and you know, the, the other issue is uh, it's a big part of that. And that's uh, being able for the marketing and press people perhaps to, to be able to share that. How can they find the right information? Because a, a thing that we see today that is might be problematic is that a lot of the media companies, they, the different departments, they, they work in silos uh, and they don't really have access to the, the different systems within, uh, within the, the organization. And even if they did, some systems are really meant for all the departments to, to, uh, to work with. For example, if you take a planning system, uh, a planning system can be everything from super simple, uh, like an Excel sheet to extremely complex uh, systems uh, and they are not really built uh, for sales and marketing purposes so they are quite tech heavy uh, in many cases they control the play out system or what to to you know publish in a vault platform so it's 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 not really supposed for marketing and sales people to to access those but in those systems uh, you can find a lot of data that is 
super important for sales and marketing uh, and that they need to share with uh, the external systems that, that we talked about uh, earlier. Uh, so that, that's a problem, getting access to the data uh, within the organization. And that goes for media as well. Media systems can also be extremely complex and not really built for marketing purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's kind of where I think we can get into like the tools that help make it easier to share this information. Because like you said, you there is a lot of information that marketing can use inside the planning systems, but since you can't access it, it's kind of you know redundant and then they have to store it in their separate places. So how does a platform like ClipSource make it so that you can access that information and save time for you know the internal teams and stuff like that? Yeah. I mean, the, 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 one of the, the main ideas with ClipSource is to provide a data and media layer uh, that kind of sits on top of all these, uh, these uh, bigger and more complex systems. Uh, so we can produce uh, an interface, a place where everyone can log in and find the information that you need uh, when you need it. Uh, and uh, these systems that we connect to, they can be planning systems, media systems, can be separate metadata systems or even external uh, dams or things like that. Making sure that everything that belongs to, uh, for example, a program uh, or a movie or a documentary uh, is saved into one uh, place in a useful uh, or sorry, user-friendly uh, uh, interface where uh, you can find everything around your content, regardless if you're working with marketing, press, uh, it can have, even be useful to you know, production uh, departments uh, or the legal departments that needs to see things uh, before they are broadcasted. So everything in one place and also make sure that this is automated. So we pick up everything when it's changed in the subsystems. Uh, so uh, just to make sure that everyone get access to the latest and correct and verified information. Okay. So like if I wanted to share a thumbnail or something from a film with somebody, I could just go in and grab it and it, was, it could have been taken from the planning system rather than me storing it in like a Google Drive or something. Exactly. Or it can yeah. go updated. Exactly. Yeah. So you know that if you log in, you will be able to see the images that belongs to your episode, for example, or a trailer or even uh, social media clips that are already prepared by the social media department and saved in, into this interface. Uh, uh, but of course, it can be full length uh, episodes or full length movies as well. Mm -hmm. And with that, so I mean, obviously, it's great. You have all these assets that you can share and it's there. But then also one of the problems with the entertainment industry is that there are a lot of problems with like rights and leaks and making sure that you share secure content. So I think it'd be great to talk more about the sharing aspect. So now you have all the data. So then how do you share it? So if it's something like a screener, like you said, a full length, full -length episode that you have to share uh, with the press, how, how do you do that and make sure that it doesn't get leaked or that you don't let out too much content? Uh, yeah, first of all, um, it's important that you have the tools to share uh, the content you want to share with the right people. It should be possible to, you know, invite an individual or a selected group of people uh, that you want to give access to, to uh, let's say, an episode or a movie. Uh, but then, of course, it's about uh, uh, making sure that uh, the assets are stored and saved uh, in a secure way uh, and that they are streamed in a secure way. And then you can apply a lot of different security aspects to this. You can, for example, uh, use uh, watermarking. Uh, uh, even uh, either it's visible watermarking, uh, showing that you get access to seeing a file, and your uh, username or email address might be printed into uh, the video. That's a simple way of doing it. But then you can have digital watermarking as well, making sure that you can track everything that uh, you share to someone. If it go somewhere it shouldn't, uh, then you can always make sure that you know uh, why it happened. Okay, and you can do all that in the platform. So you don't have to use something else to watermark it and then share it. You have the video there. You can easily add the security you need and then share it directly all in the same place. Yes, exactly. You can do all these steps in, in one go, basically. Uh, the more security you want to apply to it, the, the more time it will take. But, you know, do we, we automate a lot of that work so you don't have to do manual watermarking and things like that. Everything uh, can be done uh, from the system with a few clicks. Okay. And 
so when it comes to sharing, like you said, to discovery platforms and stuff, like you want to share your metadata, you want to share images, and you want to make sure that those are up to date. So when you connect to the planning systems and then that automatically gets updated in our platform, if you're sharing maybe through an API, would it automatically update then as well in other platforms that if you wanted to share the content there so that you don't have to always be like, you know, downloading what an XML and then like sharing it with them and then having to send a whole new one if you want to update something. Yeah. So. I mean, that, that was uh, th that was normally how it was done before you you shared something uh, like uh, uh, your schedules in Excel sheet. Uh, you didn't have that much space for sharing media uh, at that time, but but you uh, had those you emailed perhaps uh, and you uh, called someone if there was an update uh, but now today it's all about uh, apis of course and and uh, that's what we do we see more and more that you know all our customers uh, invites more and more uh, external platforms and users to uh, to take part of uh, the metadata and uh, uh, the me uh, the media uh, through APIs, because then you can make sure that uh, they always have access to the latest uh, event information, the latest metadata, and of course, the latest media as well that you want to share. So everything can be done uh, in an automatic way uh, by using APIs. Okay. And that is almost the most important thing when it comes to marketing your content is making sure it is discoverable. Otherwise, it's going to get lost in the sea of yeah. <laughs> endless content that we have now. <laughs> Exactly. It needs to be uh, updated, correct, verified. You need to make sure that you send as much media as you can because, you know, it's uh, images are super important, but we also see more and more requests uh, of uh, getting trailers uh, to promote content. Um, so, so, yeah, as much as you can, making sure it's correct uh, to, to give uh, uh, the consumers uh, a good base of finding uh, what uh, they want to see uh, basically everywhere, regardless if it's a, an external uh, content discovery platform or even Google. Okay, great. So then, I mean, to kind of conclude here, the, the two biggest problems that we have today when it comes to marketing and the media and, and, and entertainment industry is one, being able to access all the content that you need and making sure that it's up to date. Um, and then two, it's being able to share it to all the platforms and stakeholders that need it and being able to, to do that in a secure way. And by integrating with your platforms and getting the right tools like ClipSource, uh, then you can repurpose content from other teams and what else? I mean, automate the systems and... Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I think automation is a, a very important part here. Uh, and uh, you're absolutely right. It's all these things that you mentioned, but uh, the data that we have from planning systems, from media systems, from uh, metadata systems, uh, it's being produced within the organization. Uh, but if you can make sure that you connect these in one place and also share it, you can in fact uh, make sure to automate that entire process. So you're, you're you know, confident that you're, uh, uh, your content will be promoted with the latest, the most correct and updated and verified information. And, you know, not too many people has to be involved in that process. Uh, so, yes, exactly. Okay. So at the end of the day, I mean, if you're going to be successful with your marketing efforts, it's all about getting your workflows in line and simplifying the process. Yeah, exactly. Great. Well, thanks so much again for joining me today. Thank you. Yep. <laughs>